This is Tommy. There's somebody here who might just interest you. Chaser. Tender, whiskey and ice. Who are you, Chico? I ain't seen you here before. For the last few hours, I've been called Chaser. Same name as the guy on TV. Actually, I'm sort of afraid the TV guy and me might be one and the same person. My memory only goes back a few minutes. The only thing I remember is landing on this barrack, and then these pathetic beggars... Uh... Well, you came to the right person. Nobody knows more about this slum than old Mike Gomez. I could tell you a few things, but not here. Follow me, Chico. A little paranoia never hurts, especially if the family's breathing down your neck. Remember that, Chico. Whatever you do in Montag City, watch out for the number six. You never know where some Sonny from the family is beating around. So you're something like the black sheep of the family? Why don't you turn your back on them and go your own way? Well, yeah. If it was my choice, I'd be long gone. But the family isn't very enthusiastic if some son decides to go his own way. We all got this small metal beast implanted inside us, called a spider. If we get too far from the city, the spider explodes. Can't you get rid of it somehow? Too many secrets at once, Chico. The only thing you need is my advice. Turn around, make a break for it through that door and don't stop till you see the first palm trees. Get out of this city as fast as you can and while you still can. But what do you mean, I... Hear me, Chaser. You are the perfect candidate for a spider. And if you don't split this popsicle joint, there's a probability close to a certainty that you'll get one. Wrong, Mr. Chaser in person. It's my honor to welcome such a celebrity to my humble abode. We had a Ralph Nader double here recently, but nobody recognized him. Whereas you, Mr. Chaser, were recognized even by Tommy. This isn't happening. Don't be so simple, Mr. Chaser. Your fame and price increase with every news report. Murders, hijackings, and now Majestic. Man, you are a gift from heaven. War with Yakuza is about to start, and a guy with your skills can only be useful to us. It sounds like I don't have much choice. Follow me. Full damage damage reached. Blood pressure stabilized. Heart rate regular. No signs of abnormal activity. Rain waves in Marble Delta. Subject prepared for operation.
glad you're okay, Mr. Chaser. Your reaction to the implantation of the spider was... was quite abnormal. I think that's the way to put it. For a while there, we thought we were gonna lose you. But it came out okay in the end. Welcome to the family. Make yourself at home. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Don't leave the city. The item in your neck can cause some trouble. From now on, you gotta be damn careful. The spider has something like a switch. If you try to go against Valero, or commit some other hot-blooded stupidity, he can blast you. What should I do according to you? The point is to keep quiet and do whatever they want from you. After a few successful jobs, they'll leave you in peace. Then there'll be time to get rid of the spider and Vamoose out of the city. And now get up, Chico, and follow me. They're expecting us in the kitchen. Sit down and listen. We got a message that the Japs contacted somebody from the island. Somebody they call Big Dragon. His presence in Montex City can imbalance the scale to our disadvantage. This building is our target. From the third floor of this barrack, you have a wonderful view of the flat where the Japs will meet the man from the islands. The good news is that they're just removing debris from the falling Majestic. The bad news is that it belongs to Yakutsa. Repair work is going on around the clock, workers are there by night, and even worse, there is security. This is a big problem. If they find out they're wired, the whole mission will bust wide open. It's got to be done without a single shot. Mr. Chaser will sneak in and by means of this facility find out what Agawa is preparing. How do I get inside and how can I orient myself afterwards? Our building plans were supplied by the main engineer of the construction company that's doing the repairs. Gomez will be in the car, monitoring the position of your spider on the computer, and will guide you if you need it. Can my exact position be monitored using the spider? Only for a short distance. The spider's signal isn't strong enough for us to locate you in HQ during the whole mission, which is why I gotta come with you. But a signal for your spider to explode? I can send all the way to Alaska. Got that? So if you have no further questions, then go. Okay, here we are. Do you see the house? That one with the scaffolding next to it? Yeah, I see it. That's your target. The actual meeting will take place in apartment 35 in the opposite building, which means the best place for wiring the two will be the bathroom or Ogawa's workroom on the second floor. Don't make any noise, and watch out that nobody spots you. You copy? I'm not deaf. I hope not. We didn't find out how many security cameras are in the house, but we know they're not infra, so you'll be able to play hide and go seek in the dark if you have to. There should be four security guys, but if my guess is right, two of them are slackers. The other two will be at the house. I assume the only route is through the side entrance around the two slackers. Yeah, that's right. I don't think they'll be leaving the main entrance open during the night. I'll see you on the locator. Once you get close to the door from the other side, I'll distract their attention. Okay. If you get lost inside the building, I'll call you and give you directions. So you got all the necessary information. Now it's up to you. Oh yeah, and one more thing. If I hear any alarm, any shooting, or you get more than 300 meters away from me, you got three seconds to pray. You're a funny guy. A real barrel of laughs. Just remember what I'm telling you. So, Ogawa-san, you wanted to talk to us. We need your help. A few years ago, the whole city was at our feet. We controlled the police, the mayor, and even the senate. Our business was going well. 
Montag City was booming, and it was truly a jewel of the North. The percentage of our taxes transferred to the islands was the basis for the current immense power of the Big Dragon. The Big Dragon does not forget, Okawasan. Yes, thank you. Five years ago, after the big fire, all our power vanished in smoke from the ruins of little Tokyo. Overnight, we lost practically everything we had been building for years. The entire district was reduced to ashes. And then, we were on our knees and pressed under the earth. Hector Valero emerged here and took over most of our activities. I believe that it was he and his people who were behind the fire. Are you not overestimating Valero's power? The fire started in dozens of places at the same time. It was hell. Firestorms in the streets. Hundreds of people simply evaporated. I survived an earthquake in Los Angeles in 2145 when We're the whole them. city crumbled the into the sea. I can't this locate them from here. Worse. Get to the... I believe that his friend from Mars helped him with it. You don't believe the Martian connection theory, do you? I do not know what I should believe. How else could he deprive the big dragon of his city overnight? And now John Chaser reputedly works for him. Chaser? But he on the other side. This contradict whole theory of Martian connection. I'd rather suspect Stone or Thornton. Chaser, get out of there. They've located you. Valero? I thought this was Mike's frequency. It was. Get out of there. The cops will be on top of you any minute. Don't force me to use the spider. Get out. What happened to the transmitter? I don't know. All of a sudden, Valero was on your frequency and told me to get the hell out. And just when the Japs were starting to come out with some interesting dirt on him... So it really stinks, eh, Chico? Did you pick up any info? Yeah. Ogawa said that Valero had something to do with some Martian connection. Do you know what that is? Martian connection? <laughs> a couple of guys believe that the Mars Corps Company, or its president, the Honorable Mr. Longwood, is the capo de tutti capo of several large criminal organizations here on Earth and has been funding illegal projects of the company from their profits. Illegal projects? It's a conspiracy theory. There's a rumor that the company has been holding back on the terraformation of Mars so the money can flow into other illegal projects. Under the table, Mars Corps is supposedly doing experiments on people, clones, on alterations to the human mind. A huge amount of money is needed for all this, and the fight against Castor and his rebels is not free of charge. But you know something about that. About Castor? Sorry, Chico. I keep forgetting about your memory. Commander Castor and his militant band, the New Age Messiah, fighting for the freedom of Mars. Chaser? Did anything happen? I don't know. I had some visions. What do you mean, visions? You been doing drugs, Chico? If Valero finds out you're using, he'll put you on ice. No. No, I'm clean. The first one happened when they were stuffing this spider in my head. I saw a man in black, a commander of some squad before the action. I think it was Stone. The guy the two Japs mentioned. Could be something from my past. Memories. I don't know, Chico. I'll ask a couple of people what they think about it and let you know. But stay out of Valero's sight so he doesn't catch you when you pass out next time.
This is the biggest and last water treatment station in MC. The only source of clean water in the city. Half an hour ago, it was in our hands. And that's the reason you're here. Who's behind it? This attack was the work of the Raiders, an armed band controlling the black market on smuggled iceberg water. The first results of video analysis show that they brought a large number of barrels for the transport of chemicals. They probably got hold of the waterworks with the aim of contaminating the source. We suspect their goal is to acquire the monopoly for drinking water from icebergs to gain the power over the city that we currently hold. So we have to strike immediately. The waterworks has only one entrance from the north. Sanchez and Franklin, you take the sniper rifles and climb up there. From there you'll cover our people, is that clear? Vaughn, you lead the entry team. Teams Alpha and Bravo will follow you. The aim is the elimination of all raider units and securing of the waterworks area. The barrels with the chemicals represent a huge hazard. Under no, repeat, under no circumstances can they go in the water. We don't know what they contain and we can't afford any risk. The waterworks must be secure as soon as possible and operational, is that clear? Then move out! Get moving! Sir, their defense is too strong! They got snipers covering the whole area and we can't get in! Jason. We need you to get inside and open the gate for us. Bypass the area and find an alternative way in. We'll keep them busy in the meantime. The HQ units are very close. Our troops have suffered heavy losses. This is our last chance to reach the target. Throw the barrels in the water and let's get out of here. Roger. Position to be issuing orders to us, Lieutenant. Don't move a muscle or you're dead. If you think shooting us will prevent contamination, then you're even dumber than you look. All your efforts have failed. This border works is finished. You don't have a chance. I don't think so. You're toying with the water, Lieutenant. You don't drop your weapons immediately, you're dead. Let's finish it. Hey, Mike. What's up? Good news, Chico. You're on your way to getting rid of that spider. I know somebody who can remove it from your head. Her name is Shimako Sakai. Can I trust her? 
I've known her for years. She's willing to cooperate. Hmm. What's the hook? Yakuza is holding her in the underground, where she performs various improvements on their soldiers. The whole area is fully under their control. You'll have to be damned good and lucky to sneak in. We're here, Chico. The main entrance can't be used. Try one of the abandoned entries to the sewer. This will be useful for you. And watch out for yourself. I was sent by Mike Gomez. Is this what you want to hear? Light. You have courage to expose your famous face. Can you help me with the spider? Lie down there and compose yourself. I will be next door if this accidentally... Uh, you know what? I know. The main part is out. The residuals will dissolve in a few hours. Until then, you must act as though it's still there. Still obey Valero? Precisely. For at least the next three hours. I'd like to get out of MC as soon as possible. And where is it you need to go? To Mars. I have to find a guy there. Name of Stone. He's the key to my memories. I believe that if I locate him, I'll be able to find out who I am, and what this mess is all about. If you really want to go to Mars, I know a few people who can get you there. They smuggle various stuff between Earth and Mars. They're completely unreliable, but they're the only ones who can get you from Montat up. Their chief is a guy named Kabir. Here's his talk card. He owes me something. He should help you. I don't have a good feeling about this. Kabir is the best, because he's the only one. The whole city is under martial law. Not to mention Valero. If you want to survive, you must leave MC. Chaser, get out of there! What is it? Valero sent his killers to Little Tokyo. I only just heard about it, Chico, so you can expect them there any moment. It's a whole posse of them, at least 20. Chico! Get in! They killed Shimako! Get in! So the girl is out of it. She'll be missed. She was good. When we come back, we'll have a drink for it. What, what about your spider? It's out. Do you want to see it? No, Chico, it's enough to feel the one inside my own head. Gomez, where's Chaser? I can't get him anywhere. It's okay, Chief. He's sitting right here beside me. We're on the way home. He missed the pier in the harbor, so I had to scout around for him there. Did we miss anything? Don't ask. I lost way too many guys in Little Tokyo. What did you say? What were they doing there? What you have to finish now. We'll meet in half an hour at my helipad at the airport. Right, Chief. We'll be there.
What's the point, Valero? Ah, here you are. While you were strolling God knows where, I organized an extermination action in Little Tokyo. And that was only the beginning. Now it's the time of the big fishes. They never dreamed it would attack them again and strike where it hurts most. The big dragon and his sweep rented the top floors in the Harrison apartment building. Agawa and some of his people are holding up there for a few hours, enjoying a false sense of security. Your task is nothing less than the elimination of Agawa and the big dragon. The helicopter will drop you onto the penthouse roof for the building. Gomez will pilot and Chase will be in the Alpha team. Take your weapons from the car and don't come back without their heads. You, if you mess up again like at the waterworks, I will tear your head off. I have control of your spider with me all the time, like a talisman. Keep thinking about that. Jesus was in Little Tokyo. Are you sure? Gomez betrayed us. You think so? Both of them? And right now? Okay then. Who's first? See you later, Mr. Chaser. probably know me. Yes, indeed, Mr. Chaser. Your face is quite well known, especially nowadays. 
But I confess I am curious as to where you got my talk card. Shimako gave it to me. Before she was shot by Valero's people. Ah, yes. I heard about that. A tragic event. So, what do you need? I need to get to Mars. I will see. A talk card is a great thing, but less secure than I like. May I suggest we meet in person? When and where? In three hours, at 132 Reed Road. It's a warehouse of the company Portland and Sons. Will you manage it? I'll be there. Franklin, you finally made it! We were short of ammunition. What the heck are you talking about, Al? I'm still en route, delayed by the security on this floor. So who the hell is with us here? A dead man. Get him! Kabir. Chaser! I am so very happy to meet you in person, Mr. Chaser. But such a shame you have come at the worst possible time. About an hour ago, we received a report on an attempt to disrupt our business activities. In fact, we are expecting an assault. My cousin Shalid is ambitious to take over my business. I am afraid that your demand for a ticket to Mars will have to be postponed, if not cancelled. Allow me to express my sincerest regrets. Deepest thanks for your help. Alone, we would undoubtedly have perished. We did not find Halid. When he realized he could not win here, he probably turned tail and ran. Ah, yes. That would be just like him. I must say, I am actually pleased that it has worked out this way. I very much dislike attending family funerals. Well, what are you waiting for? Load up the boxes so we may finally make our departure. Welcome aboard. This is Tommy, the new chief. Who's that? Who I am isn't important. What's important is that I know where the guy is who finished off Valero. You know where Chase is? Talk to me. He's here at the cargo harbor. Pier 39. Shit, I gotta go. Jose, get everybody you can carry a weapon and come with me. <laughs> it's Chaser.
Chaser. There are armed guards everywhere. I believe we have a problem here. The guys from Mars? I don't think so. They look more like your family. I had rather hoped that with the annoying Mr. Valero dead, they would stay away. Dead? Don't tell me that you do not know about it. Word has spread throughout MC that it was you who ended his pathetic life. I would like to know whether this is your typical method of parting with old friends. I have no old friends. Where are you now? We are in the old warehouse in front of the harbor gate. Hmm. Family members are all around. It doesn't look safe. Wait there until I open the gate from inside. Leave it to me. Over. Last stop, Chaser Boy. You betrayed the family. Killed Valero. It's time to pay. So, you're the big chief now. The head of the family. I have some advice for you, Tommy. If there are even a few functioning brain cells in that big, bald head of yours, you'll get out of here as fast as you can. You don't get it, Jason. Your death will reinforce my new position. Everybody will see Valero's Avenger in me. The successor. Stupid to the very end. My deepest thanks. For this, you shall receive not only a flight to Mars, but a voyage around the entirety of this elementary shit galaxy should be designed.
open the gate. We do not wish to attract unwanted attention. should not have ended this way. Not this way. Because of that slaughter, we will have the whole Red Army on our trail. I will kill him. Truly, I will kill him. Are you sure? Do you really want to kill him? If the Russians find his body, their problems are over. And, with luck, the investigation will be closed. I really do not wish to find myself dead because of some miserable Martian bastard. I'm happy to see you on your feet again. What happened? Last thing I remember was that bastard who shot me. Who are you? Corporal in the reserve, Yevgeny Fyodorovich Sokolov, at your service. How did I get here? I do not know the people who shot you, but when they were about to finish you off, in a flash, a man in black appeared and made them retreat with a few very accurate shots. Then he knelt beside you and gave you an injection of something. When he left, I put you on the Gatsik and brought you to my little dwelling. For hours I had to dig around in you to extract the bullets. But, when they closed the Cosmodrome five years ago, my son ended up without a job and started to drink, like everybody, you know. And then, when the Cosmodrome was bought by the Dagestanian, what is his name? A, uh, Abdul, Abdul Hamid. But people call him Kabir. Kabir? I've got unfinished business with him. Where can I find him? At the Cosmodrome. Less than 20 miles from here. Wait. Cosmodrome Nahojayetse. Here. But it is a real fortress. Without inside help, you will certainly not get there. And what about your son? Could he somehow get inside? I do not know. Maybe yes, maybe no. But he must get out of the labor camp first. That wouldn't be a problem. If you get him out of there, he will certainly try to help you. But wait until morning. By night, the Tege is treacherous. Take my scooter. It is a piece of old scrap, but it will survive anything. With the railway, you will get directly to the camp. God bless you. Yevgeny, thank you.
Have you forgotten something? You're not Piotr Sokolov. He got two weeks in the hole. His punishment. In the hole? Yes, in the hole. Pit full of water with a, a grid atop. You, you cannot stand up in it. You can only sit there. Nobody survives there for long. They put him in there day before yesterday, so he has two, three more days, and then they will carry him out. Boots first! Where is this hole? I would look down in Zone 12. Thanks. And by the way, the way out is clear. Take it as an early release. Time off for good behavior. <laughs> You're Piotr Sokolov, son of Yevgeny? Da, uh, yes, that is me. Uh, thank you. You saved me at the last minute. But what do you want from me? Abdul Hamid. Or Kabir, if you want. If you climb down here because of him, he must have really pissed you off, I am guessing. He tried to kill me. Your father saved my life. And I learned from him that you have unfinished business with Kabir. It is true. Kabir will be at his Cosmodrome. And I believe that you're the one to get me in. But, as a guard, I found a weak spot in the security. I said to myself that I will keep my little secret. It may be useful. That was wise. Can you walk? We must get out. I will try. directly to launch ramp. From here you can get everywhere. And if you find Kabir, send him regards from me. I will. I thought worms were already devouring you, Chaser. You're a lousy shot, Kabir. But here's an opportunity to save your life. I need your ticket to the space shuttle. Sorry, but I am regrettably unable to help you. Well said, Kabir. You'll be sorry about this soon. Very soon.
Local flight to Durham West, number 627, Zeddy platform 4. Sorry, sir, may I see your ID card? ID card. Uh, there's a minor problem. We have experts to deal with our problems here, sir. I don't think you would like to meet them. Mm. We'll have to do something about that. Interplanetary flight from Earth to Mars, number 42, is now on platform 1. Attention.
We're here. The main computer. Once I start playing with it, they'll realize where we are. You'll have to keep them outside. Here, take my gun. Blast! I can't open it from here. Problem? Yeah. I tried to open the cells and release the prisoners, but it's no go. We have to somehow keep the guards busy, otherwise they'll be after us and we'll have a high old time. Run down and try to open the cells from the terminals in the prison block. I'll wait for you here. And hurry! I was right. Without you, the plan wouldn't have worked. We're still not out of here. see that face of yours again. And who's that? This is John Chaser. Well, a legend in person. Glad to see you. Good work up there on Majestic. Not only have you destroyed the pride of Mars Corp, but you also kept the Earth units busy long enough. And believe me, it was necessary. Somebody destroyed our last livery. Not to worry, though, the Siberian road wasn't our only artery. We have other sources. Too bad he couldn't get Stone, too. Stone? He was on Majestic? Yeah. Stone is Longwood's best man. You can be happy to have survived contact. Only few have managed that. We've had alarming news, friends. An analysis of deliveries to the South Pole shows the construction of a large military complex. And cloning facility. A large one, at least Class Three, if not high. Cloning? What does he want to do with clones? Class 3 means that he can assemble whole bodies. Right. But these are just soulless pieces of meat. Demented individuals who, except for their organs, are a dead-end business. And this fact was bothering us until we got a few more pieces of the puzzle. In addition to the cloning facility, he's also built a dark eye. Dark eye? It's the code name for piece of equipment that can transmit a human mind into a new host. Not only can it transmit a mind, it can also copy it. So it can record the contents of a top warrior's mind and then transmit it into the brains of dozens or hundreds of clones. This is an instrument to build an invincible army. Scott Stone multiplied by 1,000. My God, we're finished. Not yet, but we will be soon if we don't do something about it. The cloning hasn't started yet because the prototype of the future army, Scott Stone, has been on Earth on a top-secret mission. Even our insider couldn't get more details. But we know for sure that he returned a few days ago, so it's only a matter of a very short time before it starts. This isn't just a fight for the freedom of Mars. It's a fight for survival. So what's the plan? The head of the company, Longwood, is sitting safely hidden in his base can't get close to him. The only chance to get him is to attack him and his security when he heads for the South Pole.
I've analyzed his itinerary and picked a place suitable for the attack. The whole route is strongly secured, so there's no direct way to it, but we could use cargo and service tunnels that are essentially unguarded. Service tunnel E-51 approaches the Longwood Tunnel on a curve. At one point, the lines will be about 10 meters from each other. This will be close enough. A charge of top X will bring the tunnel down. Nobody will be able to survive that. Let's hope we will. And the explosive? A large amount will be required. This is the equipment for the storage of hazardous materials in the Windfall Crater. The company has accumulated large amounts of weapons and explosives here. Not everything is for military use. Some of it is used for terraforming. And we need that. We'll slightly transform the ground. <laughs> I've acquired the access codes to the lower level. So we'll be disguised as the technicians and maintenance staff that come every two weeks to inspect the system. Okay. Following the authorization, you'll proceed to the complex. We load the Topex and fly low with one of the cargo transporters. Forty-five minutes later, we land at the railway depot at Ravi Vallis, where another of our units will have taken care of removing the security and eliminating the safety systems. We reload the freight and start for the Longwood Tunnel. We should be there about 15 minutes before the Longwood train starts its approach. Ten minutes for the installation of the explosives, and five minutes to retreat to a safe distance. It'll be very tight, but it'll work. It has to. We've only got one shot. Let's do it.
Army. Understood. See you there. Samuel Longwood, president of the Mars Corp Company, has been assassinated. A powerful charge exploded in the Goddard Tunnel at the moment his armored train Perfect was Perfect work, through. gentlemen. Every planned undertaking in the key positions in the company was a success. Mars Corp is falling apart. We no longer have the capacity to react to our activities. It's a great day. A great day for Mars and a great day for us. Victory is ours. But the day is not yet over. According to my instructions, in the event of success, you must all proceed to HQ. But practically nobody knows where it is. I'll show you the way. You? You were the main connection with the command? I don't believe it. Right under Longwood's nose all the time. I thought you were fencing contraband for the miners. Come to think of it, though, I should have known something wasn't right. In view of what a poor bartender you were. Which is the reason I'm coming with you. My services aren't required here anymore, and I've had enough of the sight of these drunken miners grinning mugs to last me a lifetime. I hope there aren't any mirrors at HQ. Russians thought they could build wherever they landed. But when the whole southern sector collapsed, they packed the vodka and moved to the Tharsis plateau. This is better now. Better for the Russians or for us? Watch your step. Everything is built on unstable soil. It's been completely avoided for some time. Which is why no one guessed that we were so far north of the other colonies. Our subterfuge was successful. that we haven't 
traitor among us that he shouldn't trust anyone. That they can't get into the computer, destroy the list. Watch for the automatic protection. Uh. possible moment. distant place for your base. The only unhappy circumstance is that your welcome wasn't friendlier. Where has your sense of decency gone, Castor? Where are your ideals? Where are they? Is this to be the anthem for the liberation of Mars? Seven kilotons of Topex? A cup of my patience has run over Castor. This unprovoked assault could not go without a response. Did you think when you attacked me and my people that I'd let it go? Nothing will save you now. You're finished. You were insane to believe your ideals, your base, the entire rebel movement is in ruins. How? How did you learn about our base? Are you asking me who betrayed you? You can see that I survived your well-prepared plan along with the main center, and it was thanks it's to- It's impossible! I saw you die! How can you, in your shape, trust what you saw? How can you believe your memories? Since when do you remember who died and how? The loss of memory must be a terrible thing. It allows you to forget your past. To forget who you are, what kind of bastard you actually are. Without his memory, a man has no past. Couldn't it all just be some kind of flashback, Jason? What if you were to wake up soon and find yourself on the spaceship on the trip between Earth and Mars? Chaser! Don't let him manipulate you! Kill the devil! He's abusing cloning technologies, draining resources, appropriating things that belong to everyone. He wants to enslave Mars. He's preparing terrible things. Ah! Castor, tell this gentleman, Mr. I-don't-remember-you-I-will-kill-you, exactly who was responsible for the cheerless status in which he now finds himself. Tell him how you attacked Majestic, how you let it explode, and how you interrupted his post-surgical rehabilitation, causing him trauma which cannot so easily be forgotten. Castor! You attack Majestic? You bastard! I had to do it! Right after I learned what he needed you for. He has equipment which can scan the human mind. You would have betrayed all our plans, our hideouts. Nothing would have remained unrevealed. He would have destroyed us completely. But you did it. You escaped and came back. Now kill the monster and complete our plan. You don't know anything, Castor. Long ago, I penetrated your movement. You had no idea how easy it is nowadays to break the human will. How quickly people agree to cooperate after they have experienced my center for non-standard interrogations. It was bad luck that nobody knew where to find you. You really are paranoid. Practically no one knew where you were. It was Stone who finally brought me to you. Stone? I'll take care of Stone once I've finished with you, Longwood. I have a few questions I want to ask him. You don't remember anything. What are you talking about? Who do you think you are? He doesn't know. You are Stone. I brought you to the world as a rebel striving for revenge. You fulfilled your task perfectly. I don't believe it. Remember your instincts. Remember the flashbacks. Remember your training, which you never could have acquired as a pitiful rebel. Look at the way it all ended in the fight against our units. And it's all over now. They're all dead. My soldiers are, and will remain, the best warriors who have ever been on this planet. And you are their commander. Even those exoskeletons were no idea. 
If Castor's band hadn't damaged your memory, you would have fulfilled your mission much earlier with Gomez and Shimako to help you. Now dispose of the Porsche ship and complete our plan. I need you for your next task. No, I am not Scott Stone. Stone. But of course you are. You got him yourself. You shot the original Chaser. But before our doctors could get to him, he went into such deep shock from the bullet wound that he couldn't tell as much. Then there were additional complications and fell into a coma. The prognosis wasn't good, though we didn't call the lawyers. The scanned memory of Chaser was not a help to us because it was an incomplete scan. The computers couldn't manage it, so Plan B was born. You were to take his place after some small correction, such as plastic surgery and a mind swap. However, the process was interrupted and you stayed without a memory. The only thing left was residual memories and the instincts of two separate minds. We almost wrote you off when Gomez began reporting the situation. But we had our miraculous Shinako, and she kick-started the hunter-killer instance, and you developed your thirst for revenge. <laughs> you didn't need anything more. Revenge. <laughs> Your entire concentration was focused on getting Scott Stone. What irony. In any case, it helped you get to Mars. Although on your way, you traveled halfway across that dung heap Earth. And could you pick the locations? You say you scan my memory. Where is it now? Have you got a backup? If I really am Scott Stone, you should have it. Chaser, for God's sake, don't believe him. You aren't Stone. You're John Chaser. I know you well. Kill this devil. Finish God! Your memory was stored in the main computer of the Jesse. Now it's probably somewhere either in hell or in Montex City, which is only a jump from there. So he has no proof. He's bluffing. You are John Chaser. Shut up. You won't live much longer. Become my puppet. I'll pound all your knowledge from your head. None of those who escape today will survive. Not after today. You, Stone, come. You belong to us. Ah! You don't remember. rebel cells. It doesn't matter. There's no one to leave them. We'll catch them like the whip dogs they are. You just sent them all to their deaths. <laughs> or rescued them, Longwood. I figure what you're up to. Huh. Never mind. We have nothing more to do. Catch Stone! Take everything you need, and lay the charges. We're going. 